Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Russian salad. Start by peeling your potatoes. I'm going to make quite a large dish suitable for 8 to 10 people, so I'm going to start with 5 large potatoes. I'm now going to peel 3 large carrots. Once peeled, slice the carrots into 1 cm strips and then dice. You'll notice throughout this recipe that all the ingredients will be diced about the same size, one centimetre cubed, with the exception of the potato, which is just slightly larger. And the point of this is that you're meant to be able to taste every single ingredient with every forkful of the salad. Now dice your potatoes just slightly larger than one centimetre cubed. I like to dice my potatoes before cooking for two main reasons. Firstly, it drastically reduces cooking time. And secondly, because you're dicing the potatoes into even pieces, it will cook more evenly. Pour boiling water into the pot just to cover the potato and carrots. Now add two cups of frozen peas. Give a gentle stir and then add about one to two teaspoons of salt. I'm now adding four eggs to the pot. Put the lid on and let boil for eight to ten minutes. In the meantime, while your vegetables are boiling, dice about 200 grams of ham and put into a separate bowl. Dice 8 to 10 dill cucumbers and then put into the same bowl with the ham. Finally slice two green onions. Put the onions in the bowl with the ham and the dill cucumbers, cover with glad wrap and keep in the fridge until ready to use again. By this time your vegetable mix should be ready. So just remove the lid and scoop out the eggs using a slotted spoon and put aside to cool. Once your eggs have been removed, strain your vegetable mix. Pour your vegetable mix back into a bowl and allow to cool. This is what it should look like at this stage. Once cooled, peel and dice up the eggs and then add them to the vegetable mix. Now add the ham, cucumber and onion mixture to the vegetable mix. Add 1-2 to two teaspoons of salt according to taste. Add one cup of whole egg mayonnaise. I'm going to use the Tommy brand, that's my favourite brand of mayonnaise. You don't necessarily have to use this brand, but it is important to use a good quality mayonnaise. Give everything a good mix through and then pour into your favourite bowl. And that's your Russian salad done. I hope you all enjoy.